Are you saving money but want to learn how to save even more money without affecting your spending budget whatsoever? Well check it out, that's what we got for you today. Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, I'm Michael and what we do on this channel, what's the whole purpose of this channel, is I'm here to simplify personal finance, trading and investing just for you. And all you got to do in return is simply hit that like bell and hit that red subscribe button. <laughs> Alright, now that we got that out of the way. What this video is about is how to save more money without really affecting your uh, budget you have set in place already. I'm going to give you two strategies that one of them I currently use and one I used in the past. The only reason I don't use it anymore because I'm into a little bit more of advanced things and I don't necessarily need to do that. But whether you are new to budgeting or new to saving money or you're already saving money and you want to continue to save or save more money it works either way you can use both of these in each scenario whether you want to save more money or you want to start saving money this is these are actually great ways to start saving money and it will help you further your savings and get closer to your savings goals and the best thing about these two strategies you can use either or or you can use both of them and you don't even have to uh, rearrange your entire budget. You don't have to go through it. You can leave it as it is and still apply these two strategies. So the first strategy is called the 52 week um, plan. And some of you may have heard of it. Some of you may have not, but this is what it is. <clears throat> so week one, the first week, you take a dollar and you put it into an envelope. You seal it and you write one. Week two, you take two dollars put it into an envelope, seal it, and write two. And for every week then on, you add another dollar. So week three will be three dollars, four, four dollars, until you get up to 50, the, uh, the week 52, you have 52 dollars in that envelope. Might not sound like a lot, but in 52 weeks, you have almost 1,400 dollars saved up. Now that's a great way to start savings, an emergency fund, or even if you want to start that after Christmas, that way that can be uh, all your Christmas money. You know, you're not really going to notice the one, two uh, dollars gone out of each check or whatever. But once you start getting a little bit higher up, then you may notice. But let's say you get paid a little bit higher one week. That's whenever you knock out one of the later weeks, one of the, you know, 20, 30, 40 weeks, one of the 20s to 30s or 40s. One of those weeks with your hard check. That way you won't really notice the difference. But like I said, this is a great way to either start saving or to help maximize your savings. Um, I personally like to have four or five different, uh, you know, forms of saving going on. That way I know that um, I kind of keep some of them out of my mind. You know what I mean? That way I know I don't have all my eggs in one pot when it comes to saving. I have three or four, you know, little areas that I'm saving elsewhere. Now, strategy number two is at the end of the day, when you get home, you take your change, your spare change, and your single dollar bills, and you put it in a container and you don't mess with it until that container is full or until you get about a hundred bucks uh, with change and the one dollar bills. Then you take it out and you put it aside and you keep doing that. Now, I still use this today in order to help me save a little bit extra, to have a little bit extra cash around the house just in case something were to happen. Now, some of you might say, well, I don't really carry cash on me, so I can't do that. Well, here's what you do. You figure out what your budget is for the week um, for your food or your gas or whatever. You take that money out of your bank cash. Then, you just have the cash on you. You spend it. Whatever you have left over at the end of the day when it comes to ones and change, you put it in a container and either at the end of the week, end of the month, or at a specific um, number, you take it out and you restart. Now, it doesn't sound like much, but I still do this and I can save about an extra 50 to 60 bucks a month just from doing this. Okay, but I also add maybe every now and then I throw a five or a 10 in there. You know, you can do it any way you want that suits your needs and that suits your your you know spending you don't have to do it the same way I do it but best thing for you to do is to mold it around what's easiest and what's better for you you know don't put yourself in a bind just to save a little bit more money 
but you also want to realize that you can be saving more money somewhere. And like I said, this has helped me to save 50 to 60 dollars extra a month in savings and cash around the house. Sometimes it's it's more, sometimes it's less than a month. But it helps out, especially if something were to happen and I can't use my debit card and I have to use cash money. Boom, I have that cash money laying around. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed these two strategies and these two tips on how you can save more money, especially for lower income. This helps a lot. If you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, go ahead and hit that like button and hit that red subscribe button if you already have it. And if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment, all you have to do is hit one of these three videos.